And people have passed by this building for literally decades. And so you're going to drive by, oh, that's where I went to school. Remember when I went to school there? The property here was dedicated to the school district in 1883. This was the school originally built on this site right after a log cabin, very original school. It burned down in 1926. And then the building that we see today was constructed. Designed by Temple Buell, a very notable Colorado Denver-based architect. This is his oldest remaining school building. So the school has been in the community for generations. The school shut down in 2007 and they scheduled it for demolition and ultimately uh, resulted in the housing authority coming back at the 11th hour to buy the property and the building. Not only was it in bad shape and we didn't have a purpose for it, uh, we had done three market studies that said it didn't make sense for residential. And they called us up and said, would you like to have a look at it, Jim? And I said, sure. Jim Hartman and Susan Ely were the partners that we chose to work with. Some of the original school desks. I loved the building as soon as I saw it and saw a great opportunity to save a building. Like most old school buildings, this is a very wide hallway and it is perfect as a gallery. This is the gymnasium and this is during construction in the gym, just building out all the wood framing. This was my uh, gym. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, 45 years later, here I am, living here. I'm a Wheat Ridge native. I love my home. It is great ties to the community. The whole time the building was empty, we were getting calls and we were trying to work with Wheat Ridge to try to find a solution for it. And we were able to help them out with grants and tax credits. The State Historic Fund was really wonderful because they provided some critical funding to do detail restoration to the windows, to the masonry, to the entry sign panels, to the entry doors. I've never had a place like this this cool. We chose this one in particular because it's got views of the mountains over there, solar panels over here. This is perfect. If it wasn't for the city and the surrounding community, this building would be gone. They literally saved it from the wrecking ball. A lot of sentimental, social, emotional ties to the building. We couldn't be happier with this project.